All right, what's up guys? It's Eli here. Sorry for my voice. I'm very tired. Just got off of work and I'm exhausted. But for those of you that are wondering what's this video about, this is going to be about how to um, set up your controller wirelessly because um, they updated remote play again and people are saying they, they, that it won't, the controller won't connect wirelessly and only wired. But I'm still able to use it wire, wirelessly, so I'm going to show you that. And there's been comments about not knowing how to create a dummy account. Basically, the dummy account is just creating a new user on a PS4. And this is the steps to create one. 12 steps. Right here. Stop the video. Read each one. Congratulations, you got a new account. Alright, so... Once you got your new account, you want to go to the remote play, pull it up. You don't know how to download the remote play. I will leave a link top right of the screen. It'll show you. All right. So in remote play, you want to be signed in with your new account that you created into remote play. Now, it's just like the PS4. You sign into PlayStation Network. You put in your password. If you if it's not a real link, link it with either the numbers and the settings, or it can link automatically. It just has to. It takes a while for it to find your PS4. So sign into it on the Remote Play. Set your settings however you want them. Um, and then when you get to the PS4. You want to be already signed into your um, your PS Plus account, the one you're gonna be using for like you know Warzone, Apex, Fortnite, your online account, the one that you paid ten to sixty dollars for a membership. You want to be already signed into that on your PS4, okay? Um, oh, I gotta mute my TV. So once you're already signed in on the PS4. With your main account. Not the one you just created. The one that you want to use to play games online. Sign into that one. On your PS4. The remote play one. This one right here. Is for the account that you either just made. Or already had one on file. And you just want to know how to get a wireless connection. Then. That one you sign into remote play. So I'm signing into the. A PS4 right now, so it'll be ready whenever um, that it comes up. All right, so I'm signed into the PS4 on my main account, and I have the new user or the user that I'm not going to use for online play signed into Remote Play right here. So once it's linked, you connect it. Once it connects, your main account pops up. So basically. Um, people are saying like, oh, like they got rid of the, you can't be on two accounts at the same time. Well, newsflash. Hello. Wireless controller. And if you don't believe me, this is a broken controller. I need a new controller. Don't believe me. Oh God, that's horrible. Hold on. There we go. So. Yeah, you're still on two accounts. Um, they didn't patch it. Um, for those of you that are watching my very old video, I apologize. I made that video like two years ago. It's very old. It's back when remote play was still in this time. And it wasn't that great. But I like how they're updating the software because more and more people are finding out about it. And they, you know... It gives them something to push forward to. So yeah, if you haven't seen any, any of my <laughs> new remote play videos, go check them out. It shows you how to set it up step by step on how to create, how to download remote play and all that stuff. I will be doing more videos on this because some of you, I, I see a lot of the comments. I'm reading them, pro I promise. It's just I've been working like all week. I work like 50, 60 hours a week 
It's crazy. Um, and it's not the warehouse job. I got a new job. I work in the oil refinery now. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's it. That's how you create the have the wireless. You're welcome. Spin Eli. I'll see you guys later on the next video. Peace.